a very good morning and welcome back to the show. Hope you're still loving this Tuesday morning with us, especially a very good morning to all our young sports fans that are all tuning in right now, preparing for yet another school day, of course. And good luck to all our matrics that are writing today. Good luck with your exams. Study hard. You're going to make it. There's only two more weeks, a few more weeks, and then you'll taste that freedom. And I promise you it's going to be worth it when you get it. Now, for now, let's take a look at what uh, the sporting action or the sporting scene has been bringing across from uh, the youth sports scene side. Bishop's College defeated Borland Alfred Paul Boys High by 24 runs this past weekend, while up North St. Benedict's batting lineup succumbed to the constant pressure from the bowling attack of St. Stibians. Saints winning that encounter there by a convincing 130 runs. Hudson's Park's, Hudson Park's bowling attack was also on top form on Saturday as they defeated a 201 run lead that their batsmen amounted, uh, amounted by bowling Dale College out for 133 and winning that match by 68 runs. Over in Pretoria, the battle of the Pretoria's Uffies bowlers, they could not do anything to restrict the Pretoria boys batsmen and uh, do justice to the lead that their own batsmen had created. Uffies went in to bat first thanks to Franchot Marais and Ulrich Buzart, who top scored with 71 and 103 not out respectively, reached a total of about 251 for six. Now in response, Pretoria boys high came out guns blazing and thanks to, uh, in part to Aiden, Ma Aiden Mark Makram, uh, who top scored at 100 not out, the boys uh, in green came out on top of, the, of that encounter, winning it by a convincing five wickets. So congratulations to those boys there. Well, of, uh, five of Weinberg's matrix signed off their cricketing careers with a win and a triple crown title on Saturday when Weinberg defeated Sachs. Weinberg took the, the crease first and made a whopping 242 runs for eight declared. David Beddingham count, uh, count continuing his rich vein of form this year with a well-played knock of 76. The Sachs, then, the Sachs boys then came in and uh, they were never really able to get things going in their run chase and thanks to Dylan Matthews and Jason Smith who took nine wickets collectively, Sachs were all bowled out for a rather measly 60 runs and Weinberg winning that encounter by a convincing, absolutely amazing 182 runs. And of course, out in Kozulu Natal this weekend, Northwood and DHS renewed their fierce rivalry this weekend when Durban High School travelled to Northwood and Durban High School batted first and were 140 all out thanks to an impressive bowling by Shane Moodley who finished with 4 for, 70, for 27 uh, from 8 overs. Now Northwood then took to the crease and even though they, they lost early wickets and earnings an inning-saving knock from Dale van der Marwe, who top scored at 40, would see the hosts uh, through, and they ended up winning the match by a slender yet impressive three wickets. Now, a couple of weeks ago, uh, we were joined by one of South Africa's best junior tennis, tennis players, Manuel, as uh, she prepared herself, to, Manuela rather, as she prepared herself to play uh, with two of her favorites and her stars, Venus and Serena Williams, and they were here in the country. She got the privilege to do that. Take a look. Now, of course, this past weekend, Serena, the, the Williams sisters had an exhibition match out in Johannesburg. And uh, on Saturday, they took some time out to have a game with rising tennis stars Manuela Hackfield and Mabatu Makale, who were overjoyed, to say the least, with the opportunity to play along with their idols. And what a privilege. Let's have a look. Let's take a look at what they said. To be on the court with the Williams sisters was amazing. It's like really inspiring. They're just ordinary people and it can be done just through just working hard. It was a really amazing experience and I'll never forget it. Being on court with the Williams sisters was like a dream come true because all my life since I played since I started playing tennis, I ju I just wish that this a day like this would come. It was like a dream come true. Every time I thought about the the pleasure of playing on court and winning the Grand Slam, it just drives me more. Here at Raj Gym, they always tell me that she looks like Serena, you play like her, so you can make it in life playing like her. If you just work harder and you can become that person that travels the world and win all the Grand Slams. Well, congratulations to you, young ladies, and may this inspire you to even greater heights. Now, we must say a big thank you to High School Sports Magazine, .co.za, and Gavin Withers for the quality cricketing images from uh, this weekend's matches. And that's it for the Youth Sport Bulletin for this Tuesday. We'll be back again on Friday to preview the final weekend of the 2012 season. Once again, good luck to all those matrix writing a whole host of languages today all across the land in the exams. You're going to make it. You can. Yes, you can. Over to you, Ewan. Espresso Youth Sport, brought to you by Deep Heat. Warms pain away.